Uh, my name is Wendy Wills and I work at the University of Hertfordshire. I'm the Director of the Centre for Research in Public Health and Community Care there and Professor of Food and Public Health. And from the 1st of October this year, I'll be the new Director for the Applied Research Collaboration, the ARC, for the East of England. We're already three years into our current five-year programme of work on the ARC, so there's a lot still to deliver on. I think the most important thing for me is to be out and about in the region even more than I have been. I was already the theme lead for prevention and early detection in health and care, social care for the ARC, so I know a lot of people. It's been great being involved with the ARC for the last three years. So now I want to get out and make sure that I'm not only thinking about prevention and early detection, thinking about the ARC more broadly and making sure that I really understand what it is that the communities that we serve across the region really would like us to do in terms of the research that we undertake and use. I think to do really meaningful sort of public engagement and consultation and involving people, we need to do it in a really genuine way. It can't be tokenistic. I'm really not interested in us parachuting in, sort of saying we know what the health issues are in a particular place and we're going to find all the answers for you. We want to genuinely sort of be, be embedded, be out and about, spending time in places so that we can see what it's like to live or work in a particular area and really encouraging communities to come to us with issues that they think need research answers or where they've heard that there's research evidence that we might want to try and use in a particular population or for a particular condition, for example. So it's got to be really genuine, it's got to be really embedded in absolutely everything that we do. Um, since the ARC started three years ago, we said that to the National Institute of Health and Care Research, who fund the ARCs, that we really wanted to focus on particular places and the populations within them. And they are Great Yarmouth and Waveney over on the coastal edge of the region, Thurrock, the sort of uh, Thames Gateway area in Essex, Stevenage in Hertfordshire, which is a post-war town, um, and Peterborough and the Fenland area. And each of those places have very different communities and populations. That also means they have different health and care needs, different access to services. So we did that a little bit differently than other arts in England by focusing on particular areas. As well as the research that we conduct, it is really important that we make sure we use that research evidence and it's implemented across the east of England. And that's something we need to do even more of. There's no point undertaking research and it sits in a computer or on a bookshelf. We need to work out who or where it's of most value and mobilising and translating that knowledge with our partners across the area who really understand the different places or populations or healthcare conditions that we're, that we're focusing on to implement and make use of what we're doing. Um, a really key partner for us is the Eastern Academic Health Science Network. So we work closely with them and that relationship's really evolving so that we make use of their innovation and implementation skills and capacity to work with the ARC research team and the core team to use our research um, to sort of maximise value really, reduce waste, which is good for everybody. So that's something that I also want to prioritise in the coming year, months, um, to make sure we do, do what we can really to get the most value from the research. Since the ARC became operational, a really big change um, across the whole landscape really is the introduction of integrated care systems. This means us really thinking broadly about how do you link care to the best outcomes. So it's not just about the NHS, it's about how does the NHS link its clinicians and its workforce and its patients in with local authorities, with councils, with health and care provider organisations and with the communities themselves. And I think the art can be really instrumental here. We can plan projects that really help people to link data, to link places, to link people, to make sure that we again, we're maximising our linkages and our collaborations for best use. This is a really important mind shift, um, really, for the whole country. So that's something that's going to be really vital to make sure that we genuinely don't just think about health and think about the NHS, but think what else is needed to keep the population healthy or to ensure they're treated and can, can live to their best ability, really. It's really important that we think about capacity building in the region and that can mean the way that the public gets involved in research, increasing the diversity and inclusion in the research that we plan and undertake. It means thinking about opportunities for PhD and other doctoral students. 
and it means thinking about the sort of career development and the pipeline for our researchers from when they might be sort of newly postdoc after doing a PhD to becoming independent researchers and more senior academics. And I, I get really excited thinking about capacity building. And I think we're really fortunate within the RA, we've got some brilliant people and some brilliant, some brilliant sort of supervisors who can train up the next generation of researchers but also additional funding that we've had um, opportunity to, to bid for, for things like mental health capacity building, mental health being such a huge issue and the way it links in with um, physical health um, and other outcomes. So we need good researchers to work in that area. Dementia, another really pressing issue, of course, with so many people in um, our region uh, living with dementia and people supporting them um, to live well with dementia. So we need really good research teams and we need really good students to help address that. So we'll, again, we'll be really looking at how we can increase our, our sort of pool of expertise um, and give them good career opportunities as well so that they can succeed and we, we don't lose them. We want to keep good people in the region.